Hello YouTube, welcome to Talking Tech. My name is Tom, and today we're going to discuss how to upgrade our computer from Windows XP to Windows 7 using Windows Easy Transfer. Uh, I'll post a link to this in the description. Uh, what you're going to do is download either the 32-bit or 64-bit, depending on what operating system you are using. You can also use this tool for Windows Vista, and the same rule applies. Download either 32 or 64-bit. Uh, I've already downloaded it, so I'm just going to minimize it. Once it downloads, though, it's going to load into your... going to click on the Start menu here, go to All Programs, and you'll see it right here, Windows Easy Transfer for Windows 7. Now what this is going to do is going to take all your current settings, your favorites from Internet Explorer, your videos, everything, how your computer is now, and it pretty much transfers it to Windows 7 for you. Alright, so what I'm going to do is use an external hard drive or USB to put the folder on. Um, I'm just going to go here, click external hard drive. This is my old computer. Now what it's going to do is scan through the profiles that are listed on this computer and tell you the size of each profile. And at that point then you'll be able to select or unselect the profiles you wish to transfer. Alright, it's finished scanning the profiles here. Now what I'm going to do, just and it'll give you the size of each profile and the size of items shared. What I'm going to do for time's sake is deselect the bigger profiles and the shared and just keep the mommy profile. I'm going to click next here. And if you, you want to add a password, you can. Just go ahead and click save. I'm going to select the drive and there we go. Boom, it's finished. I'm going to click next, next, and go ahead and close it. Now, I would recommend that you use an external hard drive. For sure, because uh, as you can see, some of the profiles are a little bit bigger uh, than what can be f uh, fit on a USB. Also, uh, make sure you do not put it on your hard drive on the C drive, uh, because if you're going to reformat this drive and install Windows 7 on it, once you do that, you will not be able to retrieve the uh, profile you just transferred uh, using the Easy Transfer tool. Um, next, what we'll do is install Windows 7 and show you how to bring your profile into Windows 7. Alright, so we've installed the Windows 7 on our PC. We're going to upload our profile from XP. And what we're going to do is we're going to go down here to the Start menu. And then we're going to type in Windows Easy Transfer should pop up right here. We're going to open that. In the same window as before, it's going to open. Click Next. We're going to say we used an external hard drive. And then, now it's going to ask a different question. It's going to say, this is my new computer. We'll go ahead and click that. And it's going to ask you if you have it plugged in, where you have your external hard drive. If you've got it plugged in, click Yes. And then you'll select the hard drive and then the file and it's going to bring it up here we just go ahead and click transfer and it's going to transfer that profile over to Windows 7 it's going to ask you if you want to see what was transferred and list of programs that you may want to install on your computer again. Uh, you can click through each of those. It'll give you, there's 15 documents transferred over, one user account, and then here's a suggestion of programs that you may 
want to reinstall on your computer. As you go through. And that's it. We'll just click close. Well, once again, my name is Tom, and this is Talking Tech, and thanks for watching.